Welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Friday the 25th of November. The local media headlines today. Now, the weather's supposed to be a bit better today, ahead of more heavy rain tomorrow, but concepts of what's good and bad clearly depend on circumstances, and Cornwall's reservoirs still need every drop they can get. Both Colliford and Stythian's reservoirs are still less than a third of their normal water levels for this time of year, but at least those levels have stopped going down. Richard Branson's still hoping to launch his rocket next week, but it looks like the Newquay spaceport is going to be very much the junior partner in Britain's emerging satellite launch business. And they're back to blue sky thinking at County Hall after the latest wheeze investment zones was scrapped in last week's mini-budget. Pirate FM was among those to report the continuing strike action affecting universities. Staff walked out and joined the picket line at Falmouth in a dispute over pay and conditions. The Falmouth packet covered a bit of a political spat over the Truro Leisure Centre. The BBC reported on the fate of a seal which became entangled with fishing hooks. The Cornish Times had a list of recent planning applications and finally Cornwall Life found an actress on holiday. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again on Monday. Until then, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.